Want to know how to swap weapons faster and win more gunfights in Apex Legends? I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. Let's do it. Whether you're a seasoned veteran or a new player, weapon swapping is vital for close encounters in Apex Legends. See, Apex Legends doesn't have any perks or mods or anything like that to help you swap weapons faster. So if you're using an SMG, for example, you're gonna burn through your ammo and then you're gonna have to swap weapons. I'm gonna show you how to do this stuff effectively. Now there's a few weapon swap techniques I'm gonna show you today. Some are a little bit more advanced than others, but Overall, they're going to be relatively easy to use and implement into your gameplay. So let's hop right over to the firing range so I can show you these techniques. All right, guys, now that we're in the firing range, the guns I'm going to use today are the R99 and the Massive. OK, these are two of the best and most used guns in the current meta and in the game. So weapon swap technique number one is just swapping your weapon instead of reloading. So if I just empty my mag instead of doing that swap and then finish, this is a huge technique that you can use in this game. A lot of people like to just do this and try to reload. The biggest advantage here is reloading is slower than just weapon swapping and fighting with your other weapon. So if you're shooting, you just want to weapon swap bam, and just swap it out. Okay. This is a big one. I see a lot of players doing it. And I notice when I'm in a gunfight, they'll just do this and want to just reload this gun. The amount of time it takes to reload your weapon compared to just swapping and using your secondary weapon is a lot faster now this technique is just it'll save your life a lot more and i know everybody has certain guns that they like to use and etc but just reloading your weapon is slower than just swapping so make sure you reload after like just swap to your gun and just boom okay that's the biggest technique that's technique number one now, I know this may seem like a basic technique, okay, guys, but it is one that's going to save your life. I've just noticed it when I'm playing that a lot of people don't do it. Instead of reloading, just weapon swap, okay? it's. I know it's a basic thing, but a lot of players don't do it because of the guns that they have, especially if they're starting out early in the game and they're like, oh, well, I only have this in a, in a, you know, a Mastiff or a P2020 or a Mozambique, anything like that. Still, it's going to be a lot better, okay? Okay, that's going to take me to technique number two. Along with weapon swapping, something that a lot of players I don't think know is pre-firing after you swap. So if I have my Mastiff out, I shoot. If I swap, then I'm already shooting before I can ADS. Okay? So, like, a list technique is a little bit more advanced, and I think a lot of people just wait for their gun to completely come out. Like, when you're swapping your weapon, right, I think a lot of players just wait for it to fully come out and then shoot. Okay, which is a lot slower compared to if I just swap and I'm already firing. Okay, like as soon as you swap, you can just instantly hit the trigger and just fire your weapon. It's a little bit more advanced of a technique, but I don't think a lot of players know about it or know how to do it. And it may just seem like it's not that much faster, but if I'm aiming, if I'm aiming at this target and I'm souping, right? I'm already fired, right? So let's go back and do that again. If I do this and wait for it to come out, see the difference? It's a, it, I know it's milliseconds of a difference, but it'll save your life. It'll help you get that one-time shot. Now, if you've ever watched some pros or if you watched me stream on my channel at twitch.tv backslash warlog, so like if you're doing this, he's down to one shot, and then you just pull it, you just, just shoot, man. You don't even have to worry about you know, waiting for the gun to completely come out and this is a more of advanced technique this is just something you have to kind of learn over time but uh now that i showed you it should be pretty pretty easy to implement into your gameplay it's how a lot of pros and myself finish off kills when you're like oh crap he's one shot swap boom see how my gun wasn't even at its normal spot it was down here coming out as i fired okay so that does it for technique number two Technique number three is, and this one's a little bit more advanced, okay? This is going to be one that's a little tough for some players, and it's just gun knowledge. And the reason I wanted to use the R99 and Massive is because of this technique. So if you don't know how much damage a gun does, you need you should learn, especially with the two guns that you like to play with. So, and this is a technique that you see pros use all the time, and you've seen me do it through this entire video, is the R99 does 22 body, Okay, and 34 headshot, right? 17 headshot. 
17 headshot, 11 body, okay? Massive does 7, 52 body and 77 headshot, okay? Now, knowing the damage and knowledge of the guns that you are using will help you finish fights a lot faster. So, for example, if I put him all the way down, right? I know at this point, if I'm in this gunfight, that he is one shot. He's got to be close, right? Boom. Because I know how much damage the Massive does, as opposed to me finishing with my R9 or if I don't have enough bullets to finish that person, swapping to a gun that you know is going to one-shot them, like a Massive, Peacekeeper, a Wingman, all these high-damage guns, this is important knowledge to have in Apex Legends. So if I bring it down, swap, boom, he's dead. Okay. Now I still have some ammo left, and then I can go fight, right? So this is this is a big one, and it's not just necessarily guns. So it's just having that knowledge. So if, let's see if we go swap to a Mozambique, for example, right? Swap. Now Mozambique isn't going to finish him, right? And then I swap to the Mozambique, and I still I got to put all three rounds in just to kill him. But those three rounds might be the difference between him beating me and me losing, like me losing him beating me or me beating him. So it's just gun knowledge, guys. So and, and I know this one can be difficult to know, uh, especially if you have a set amount of guns that you like to use. Oops, not the devotion. We want the PK. You know, if you have a certain amount of guns you want to use, you know, like the body on a PK does 80. So you, you see pros do it all the time. And, it, and it's just gun knowledge, guys. It's just gun knowledge, okay? So, like, with the wingman, right? Come up. Swap. Two shots, he's dead. And that's just because I know that the wingman does a lot of damage. Right? Or you can reverse it, too, guys. Like, you can just swap out. If you want to use your high damage gun first. And then swap to your automatic. You know what I mean? That can work too. But this technique is a little bit more advanced, guys. This is just all gun knowledge, knowing how much damage guns do in the game, you know, body and headshot damage. And then it all depends also on how, what, you know, what guns that you like to use. So if you're not a fan of the massive, the wingman, the peacekeeper, you know, longbow, some of these high damage guns, then this technique is going to be a little bit harder for you to use. It can happen. It's just going to take a little bit more work like that right there. It's going to take me a little bit more work if I don't use the technique correctly. All right, guys. Last and not least when it comes to weapon swapping, okay? Now, I'm going to show you guys this one, and I want to have you pay attention to my guns and my ammo. I got 20 rounds left, okay? My gun auto swaps. Okay, please, please go into your settings. Okay, go to gameplay. Go down to weapon auto cycle on empty. Turn this on. Okay, I don't know if you guys have ever been in a fight where you're low on ammo or you're out of ammo and you go to shoot somebody and you're out of ammo. If this is off, okay, if this is off, the the weapon is not gonna not gonna cycle. See how I press triangle to, to swap weapons? Now if I turn this back on, right, it automatically swaps when I go to fire auto swap this will save your life okay if you're in the middle of a gunfight and you're focused and you're not thinking about swapping guns just having that on to be able to auto swap your weapons can save your life in a gunfight okay i've seen too many people just like oh crap i was out of ammo and then he killed me well if you turn weapon auto cycle on empty on it's going to make you automatically swap to your next primary weapon when your ammo is depleted now, what this means is, don't get confused, guys. What this means is you have to be completely out. See how my R99 has zero of zero? Now, if I have ammo, okay, and I just come down to this target and I just empty my clip, right, it's going to attempt to reload because I have ammo. This only applies if, if it's empty, right? Fire. Okay, boom. It only applies if it's empty. So, please go into your settings. Go to gameplay, weapon, auto cycle on empty, and turn this on, okay? This is going to save your life in a lot of flight, uh, fights, especially towards the end when ammo is low. If you're in those high-intense situations, 
and you're not paying attention to your inventory and how much ammo that you actually have or looking down at your gun to see how much ammo you have then this is going to save your life okay okay guys i hope this video has helped you out if you guys do have any questions i do stream every friday saturday and sunday over on twitch.tv my link is going to be down in the description below and if you want to see more videos on how to improve your apex legends gameplay don't forget to drop a like that really does help the channel out guys and if you're new here hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss out on another guide video that we drop and for me warlock as always guys stay gaming i'll see you in the next one peace